Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're back out here on the beach. We've got the up air. It seems like we're getting 360. So we're going to do another episode with a flight sequence. This time I'm going to do some um, flying probably up and down the beach a little bit. So uh, we got the copter setting up. It's acquiring satellites. Now one of the things without the OSD, I'm a little bit at a disadvantage here knowing when it acquires satellites. So what I do is I just give it a few minutes and, and let it acquire satellites. So it's been sitting there for a while. I should be good. It acquires satellites. I fly here a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and arm it and then we'll see. So we're going ahead. We're doing the arming. It's armed. Props are spinning up. Let's take it up a couple feet. Let's uh, yaw it around to do a compass orientation. We'll do a complete yaw one way. And we'll do a complete yaw back around the other way. Okay, I want to spin it around. Now what I want to do is I want to take it out here because what I want to do is I want to fly it up and down the beach. Do a little bit of beach combing here. So what I'm going to do is take it out about the water line. Take it up a little bit, not too much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it up the beach. I'm going to take it back out to the edge of the beach and then I'm going to fly it to the end of the beach. I'll take it out a little bit further. I want to walk it back over towards the water side because I want to get it over towards the water side. Wow, the, the water's really come up. So I want to take it out back for a little bit further. Not too far. And let's walk it back over towards the water. I hope I'm not getting some wind noise here. Hopefully, uh, if I do, I'll, I'll turn here in a bit. So I'm going to just bring it forward, and I'm just going to walk it down the beach and see about getting some 360-degree video, or basically 180, because I'm not doing the back of the camera. So as you can see here, it's flying forward. It's flying down the beach. And we want to bring it in a little bit. It's going out a little bit too far. And that's looking pretty good. So we're just, as we're strolling down the beach here is what we're doing. And we're going to bring it back out towards the water a little bit. The beach is a little bit curvy. And we're just strolling it down the beach. It's like we're taking a stroll on the beach on a nice summer day. The only problem is, is it's not summer and it's not warm. All right, I'm going to bring it there. I'm going to start bringing it back. Let's pretend we're walking backwards up the beach. I want to take it out a little bit more. And we're going to bring it back the same way. I'm really interested in the, vi the video that we're going to get out of this. So again, we're bringing it back, just real lightly sticking it, not, not, not going really fast. It's hard for me to judge its speed going backwards, coming back towards me. It's coming back at a pretty good rate. I don't want to get it going too fast. I'm kind of showing the, trying to get in the camera a little bit of both. So I'm just walking it back. Nice leisurely stroll. Hopefully you can see it up there. I'm just strolling it along backwards. I just want to make sure I bring it back in a little bit. It dives down a little bit when it's uh, coming back, so I want to be careful. I don't want to put it in the drink because I am only about 20 feet from the water. Uh, I might be getting a little wind noise in this being faced, facing this way now again. So we're going to do this. Alright, so one more time we're going to take it, we're going to, well, I want to bump it out a little bit. 
and then I want to take it down just walk it down the beach a little bit just nice strolling pace nothing too fast today just seeing what we're going to get out of the video bring it back over shore a little bit I'm thinking about uh, working up a little bit of an FPV setup for the 360 camera. It has an HDMI output, so technically I could do it. It's also got Wi-Fi, but I think the Wi-Fi range is going to be really limited. I think, you know, it's well without outside of its current Wi-Fi range. So we're going to do this. We're going to stop it and bring it back. I hope. Yeah, I see it out there. All right, let's come on, bring it back. That's the one bad thing about FPV. You really got to have the kind of line of sight of it. Uh, after it gets out of your sight, you really don't know where it's at. So we're bringing it back. All right, we're going to... We're going to bring it back this way. We're going to do another run at the... Uh, it looks like I got about two lights left on the battery. That's the other thing is I can't see the battery indicator without the OSD. Really at a little bit of a disadvantage without the OSD. So we're out there. We're just looking. And what we're going to do is we're going to take another just fast run at the lake. Take it right out there. And we'll take it up. And we'll pivot it around. And we'll bring it on back. Oops. Oh, he's got to remember, I got to go back stick when it's facing me. All right. And we're going to take it down that way. And we're going to spin her around. The performance on this thing, again, as I mentioned in the last video, is without that extra weight of that gimbal, is really amazing. It's a lot faster, even with this uh, 360 camera, which isn't too light, by the way. It's, uh, it's definitely lighter than the gimbal and camera setup, but this, uh, really, the performance without the gimbal and camera is uh, quite surprising. Just bringing it back up, running it out. Bring it back. Let's bring it down a little bit. It's getting pretty late. It's getting uh, getting about dusk, so we don't have too much more flying time left. And I'm not sure we got too much more battery left on this. Let me turn it around so I can see the battery. Yeah, I'm getting down to about one bar. So let's uh, let's give her one last let's give her one last go, a little bit higher go over the water. We'll take her up and spin her around. And we'll bring her back in for a landing. 
All right, so we're up there a little bit. And watch the old kite eating tree. You might remember that tree got my SEMA at one time. So we're up. Let's rotate her around, get one last view of the lake. And then let's start bringing her down. Don't want to hit the seagulls. So we're bringing her down. Let's take a quick look at her before she uh, lands. Let's see uh, how everything looks. Get her down, I'll walk over there. So again, holding very nice. You can see the 360 degree camera. Gimbal's holding up real nicely that we made on the CNC machine. You can see that there. Just kind of going around. Definitely putting out a lot. We're down to about one light on the back. You kind of see the camera configuration there. So, uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty good day for a flight of the up air on the lake with the 360 camera. So, uh, I'm going to bring her down now, set it down on the ground. Okay, so we're down. We'll wait for it to disarm. Props are disarmed. So, hey, another great flight of the original up air over the lake. You know, I'll tell you what, guys. So I've got two, two of the up airs. I've got the Phantom. And, again, one of the things, the Phantom and the up air, I, I consider two different animals. But I just really love this. So I had a half hour of time. I just threw this in the trunk of my car, ran out here real quick took a quick flight and I'm gonna run home so uh, again you can kind of do that with the Phantom but I tell you what for just a kind of a grab-and-go I still really like the up air and it's my go-to for the uh, just grab-and-go if I want to do fancier stuff with lychee and that I'm definitely a Phantom guy but I tell you what for casual flying it's hard to beat the up air again give it a thumbs up subscribe buttons coming up over there and we'll see you in the next video cheers guys